want you to distinguish carefully between the power rule and and the okay. So so the power rule over here, what happened here? It is the base over here is a variable. Exponent over here is a constant. So that is the power rule, right? Okay. That let me use the power rule. Okay. Base is a variable. Exponent here is a constant. Use the power rule. Now, what about that ex, uh, ex, exponential function? But well, remember last time we find, found this formula. Uh, the derivative of b to the x is b to the x times ln of b. Well, actually, last time we wrote this. a to the x, when we differentiate this with respect to x, that's equal to a to the x itself. Remember, the exponential function itself. But then, times ln of a. Okay, so when the a here is the num natural number e, ln of e is one. So when the base over here say is e, so e to the x, when you differentiate, then you will get e to the x itself. Now, if you want to multiply by ln of the e over here, ln of e is what? What's the ln of e? Anyone? It's one, right? So it is just one. So it is just e to the x itself, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, so when you have this exponential function, see the base over here is a constant exponent over here is a variable, okay? This one, the base is variable, exponent is a constant, okay? Now, let's go over this, okay? Some example over here. Now, this one, let's try to do this together, okay? So let's do it together. Two to the 100 power, when you differentiate that with respect to x, what do you get? Mm, that is a tricky one, isn't it? Now, two is a constant, right? You agree? 2 to the 100 power, is it also a constant? Yes. Yeah. What happens when you differentiate a constant? Oh, it turns What's the derivative of a constant? Zero. You got zero. Yes, you got it. Okay. So you got zero. Okay. So the derivative of this is going to be zero. Okay. So that was tricky. Okay. Now remember, when you differentiate a constant over here, the derivative is zero. So doesn't matter how many uh, ways to work, uh, what constant exponent you have here. This is a constant, okay? So do not use the power rule, okay? So the word here constant is zero, okay? So what's tricky? Okay, this one over here. 5x plus one in the parentheses to the n power. What kind of rule you use? First, what kind of rule? Do you think it is going to be the power rule or exponential rule? Group? Which one? This power. One. Power rule. Power rule, right? So it is a power first. The outer function is a power function. So when you differentiate this outer function, we're going to use this power rule, okay? So what do we get to do with the outer? Using the power rule, we got n, right? Mm -hmm. And times whatever inside this in the function raised to the n minus 1 power. Right? Agree? Okay, n minus one power. Okay. That's it for the outer function. And whatever inside it is copy. So leaving the inside here alone. Okay. So leaving here. Now by the power rule, <laughs> sorry, by the chain rule, this is not all. So we need to multiply this by the duality of the inner. So this one here it is the the inner function. That's the inner function. Okay, so what's the derivative of this inner function with respect to x? Five. Yeah, now you multiply by five. So times five, now you're done with it. Okay, you think you can, you guys can do it? Mm -hmm. okay. Now the next one, this one over here is three to this power, okay? Again, it's a compo composite of function. Now what about the outer function? Think about this, this, over here, two x plus one as one single variable. Think about that like a u, like three to the u. So the outer function is like three to the u power, okay? 
Do you use the power rule or you use the exponential function rule? Which one? This Let's one? say use the exponential rule. Yeah, use this exponential, exponential rule, right? Okay. So differentiate that. Okay. So according to this, so what do you get? The outer, the outer function. Mm. That will equal to three to the uh -huh. two plus one power. Yes. Times. So, okay. Times times ln of what? Of the base, uh, which is three, right? Yeah. Ln of the base, which is three right here, right? Ln of this base, so which is three right here. Yeah, you got it. Okay. So three to this exponent will be equal to according to this exponential rule right here. So you're going to have this exponential function itself. So you're going to have this function itself. So you have this three to the two x plus one, this function itself. But that's not all. You have to times this by ln of the base over here, right? So we times ln of The base over here, it is three. So times L in those three, okay? According to this rule right here, okay? So that done with the outer, we still need to do with the inner function. This, this is the inner function over here. Two X plus one, that's the inner function. So we have to multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. What's the derivative of this inner function over here? Two. Um, two. two. Yes, you got it. So then you have a two. Okay. Now you finally done. Okay. So break it down into step by step like this. You, you think I can do it? Okay. All right. So now what about this one over here? When the base has, uh, it's a function of x and the exponent here is a function of x, then you cannot use either, you cannot use this one or this one. No, not, Neither one of them will work, okay? Now this one over here, the base has variable, okay? We see over here, the base over here has variable, involved a variable x. The exponent here also is a function of x. So you cannot use the power rule or the exponential rule, okay? So both the base and exponent involve x, okay? So you cannot use the power rule and you cannot use the exponential function rule, okay? So what do we do? Okay. So when both of them are function of x over here, you use uh, the one that we just called uh, the stand. We have to stand this uh, as a log differentiation, right? So then we can bring down this exponent because when you take ln, then this exponent gonna drop in front of the ln, right? Okay. So. The first step in log differentiation is to take ln on both sides. So we have ln of y equal to ln of x to the square root of x over here, okay? Now what happened to this exponent over here? This exponent is going to bring it to this exponent over here. <laughs> it's going to bring to the this exponent over here is going to bring to the front, right? Bring to the front over here, okay? So we have this ln of y is equal to square root of x times ln of x, right? Agree? Okay, mm -hmm. now we can use implicit differentiation to differentiate both sides, okay? Uh, use implicit, now we can use implicit differentiation to find y prime, okay? Now let's differentiate this side with respect to x, okay? So what happens when you differentiate this side with respect to x? You got one over y times y prime on the right left side. Yes, I think you got it, okay. All right, so this side over here, you have one over 
So you got the Duotia outer will have one over y. Remember the Duotia out in the y with respect to y is one over y. Okay. And then now we have the times of Duotia the inner function. So this is the inner function over here. So differentiate this with respect to x, this y prime. So we have this y prime. Okay. So then with the left side, now we do the, the right side. The right side over here, what kind of rule do I need to use over here to differentiate? Chain rule? Uh, Multiplication? Product rule. Yeah, product rule, you got it, okay? Because this is a product. See, it's multiplication between them, okay? So it is in the form of this, right? This form right here. So you use the product rule, okay? So we use the product rule right here. Okay, so use the product rule. We're going to differentiate this first function over here. What's the duality of this function over here? Square the fact. I told you guys, we went over that like a couple of times already. Right? And I say you can remember. One over two square root x. You got it, okay? It is one over two square root of x. Okay, so the duality of square root of x is one over two square root of x, okay? So we did that many times, and I say you can remember that as a formula, okay? Now, times this second function, times this ln of x, okay? And then in between, this is an addition, the part of it, okay? Now this time, you will copy the first function, so square root of x, and then times the duality of this, times the duality of the second function, what's the duality of the second function? One over x. Right. Yeah, okay. So it is one over x. So it is one over x over here, okay? Now we will solve for, now we're gonna solve for y prime, right? So what do I do? Multiply both side by y, this y, y right here. Y, yeah. Yes, you got it. So we're gonna have y prime equal to oh my God. equal to so we get y prime equal to y times this this whole thing right here. Okay. Now some of you will say, oh, what happened to this part right here? You see this part over here? This uh, x over here, it is the same as square root of x times square root of x, right? So the one of the square root of x over here is going to cancel out, right? So giving you a, a square root of x down over here, okay? Now the common denominator over here will be two square root of x. And this one here, you have ln of x plus two because of the two over here, okay? So simplify, you got this, okay? Now, finally, you will just replace this y over here by x to the square root, square root of x exponent, okay? Now you find y prime, okay? Question over here so far? Can you, ex can you explain the square root of x times the square root of x thing again? I'm confused how. Oh, so over here, okay, let me do it on this side then, okay? Okay, so we have this, okay, so we have this um, square root of x times one over x. So how do you simplify this? So this is the sum as square root of x over x, right? One way to do this is try to think about, this is square root of x, and square root of x times square root of x over here, it is equal to x. Agree? When x is positive. Okay. So one of the square root of x over here, this factor cancel. So that will give you one over square root of x. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, another way to think about it is this. The square root of x over x. So this is the same as x to the one half power over x power x to the first power. So that will be x to the 
one half subtract one, which is the same as x to the negative one half power, which is the same as this one. Okay, but in any case, I think, um, I think maybe try to think about this way. It's easier to do like this, okay? Now, after that, then you will combine this two, okay? Using the common denominator, two squared of x, we combine them into one single quotient. So you got this, okay? Right. Now, another way to, another solution, another method to, to differentiate that is to write this one as e to the ln of x and the parentheses to the x squared of x. You see what happened over here, okay, why? So e to the ln of x, remember exponential function with base e and log function with base e, they are inverse function. So when you compose them, they will cancel out. Okay, so it looks like they will cancel out. So that will give you, this part here will just give you x inside the parentheses. So x to the square root of x, which is the same as this one, okay? So what's the, uh, so if you do it this way, express x to the square root of x as e to the square root of x times ln of x exponent, then that way you can use this, uh, what kind of rule? The outer function over here is going to be, the outer function it is e to the u. Remember, we got this one over here as a single variable u, okay? So the outer function is e to the u, okay? So you will use the exponential root, okay? So that will have um, e to the u itself, okay? So e to this itself, so this function itself. Remember when you differentiate this with respect to u, you get e to the u. So you will get this function itself. So e to this itself, right? E to this itself, okay? Now, and then by the chain rule, you times the duality of this inner function. So you're gonna differentiate this inner function right here, okay, with respect to x. Now, e to the square root of x times our end of x, right? e to this, to this, that's the equivalent to x to the square root of x. So you have this one over here. Now for this part over here, you will differentiate that using the, using the product rule, okay? So the product rule over here to differentiate that, this part over here, you use the product rule because it is a product, because it is square root of, this is square root of x times ln of x. So it is a product. So you use a product rule for this one. And then we get the same result as what we have, okay? That's another solution. Okay. I think I'm, yeah, so this is a log differentiation. The, the remaining part here, the number E as a limit, I actually have a video on, uh, on camera.